In this video, I'm going to take you through the IR hedging interest rate hedging spreadsheet. Um, this spreadsheet can be used to price various um, interest rate trades, simple interest rate trades, and look at risk. So the trades in question that we can do are three month SOFA futures, forward rate agreements, cash flows, and interest rate swaps. Okay, there, you're going to spend almost all your time in the spreadsheet on this risk report sheet, but let me walk you quickly through all of the sheets. So we've got a market data sheet, which contains SOFA rates, three month SOFA futures, and uh, one year, one year interest rate swaps. You can type these um, numbers in if you're interested. In. There are some calculations. So these calculations are used to create the yield curve. The next sheet is the yield curve. The yield curve for our purposes are a bunch of days. So day offset from the value date, from the, from the base date of the spreadsheet, a bunch of interest rate zeros. So these are continuously compounded rates. It allows me to change them, this bump size here, and the used rates and the yield curve for this purposes these purposes are is a um, calculator which lets me calculate continuously compounded rates for any day offset out to in this case 10 years um, the way it does it is it linearly interpolates between known rates so if we put a date in here we've got 255 which is between 211 and 302 so the rate should come out as linear interpolation between 5.2 3596 and 5.2676. I'm assuming that's right, 5.3151. Okay, so that's what our yield curve is. It allows us to price various things. So we've got three months so for future positions. Right now there are no positions, but if we had a position in our spreadsheet, it would show up with which contract and how many and at what price we traded. The spreadsheet calculates the current price and calculates the PL between from the current price to the trade price. So if we traded, let's just make something up, 100 contracts at 94, oops, 94.74, that's one basis point per contract, $25 uh, per basis point. The current price is higher, we're long contracts, so we've made 100 times 25 or $2,500. Forward rate agreement, it's got a notional a start date and end date and an agreed rate. Cash flows, when is cash flow being paid? How much is it? Swaps, we've got a start date, a notional, a tenor, a maturity, and a fixed rate. And it calculates the swap present value from that. And we've got a swap calculator as well on this sheet. Um, this allows you to see, if you put in details, this is a five year swap. 12-month uh, tenor, so that's uh, with a fixed rate, and you can see all of the cash flows laid out here. So when does it start? When does it end? What's the fixed cash flow? What's the compounded SOFA rate? What's the floating cash flow? What's the net cash flow? What's the present value of the cash flows? Fair rate's 4.2346, so if we put in 4.2346 into the fixed rate, we get a present value of pretty close to zero. Okay. <clears throat> How do we use the spreadsheet? So again, we're sitting here at this main tab, this main worksheet, and there are four buttons. Key button, clear all, gets rid of all the trades. Anything you've booked into the spreadsheet clears it out. So that's a really important button. Next button you're gonna use a lot is trade. So trade pulls up this little box here. You've got a choice between four things you can trade. FRA, SOFA futures position, swap, and cash flow. So let's try an FRA. So we can put an FRA in here, $5 million notional. Notice down here it says you're borrowing if it's a positive notional, you're lending if it's a negative notional. You put your start date, let's do March 20th, 24, and an end date June 18th, 24, so that's a 90 day. Um, FRA. You can see here the fare rates come out really nicely, five and a quarter. If we type in 5.25, present value of the trade is zero. 
it's really nice five and a quarter because these dates line up with a three months over futures contract. Um, if we're borrowing and we're an individual, we're gonna pay a little more than that. Let's say 5.35%. You can see the present value of the trades negative. We click trade and you can see it pops up in my spreadsheet, shows up on the FRA tab. Um, we can run risk. So the risk changes every rate in the spreadsheet, bump size one basis point. So it moves every rate in the spreadsheet up one basis point and finds the P&L, profit and loss from that. It does it with the input rates. So that's the SOFA risk report. Main risk here is the March 24 SOFA futures contract, $121 per basis point. <clears throat> we also have zero risks, so basically um, we're taking, going through these calculations to calculate the base rates. These are continuously compounded zeros. We add a basis point to them. We find out what the rate, we find the rate, we can find the profit and loss. So here we go. We can see if we change the 120 day rate, we lose $161. Again, rates going up by one basis point. Change the 211 day rate, we make $282. Net, that adds up to be 12116 this calculation is what happens if we change all of them at the same time, all zero rates at the same time by one basis point. Okay, so we can run risk, we can trade other things. For example, we can trade a swap. When does it start? What's the notional? What's the tenor? What's the maturity? What rate? 4.27, for example. In that case, we are receiving fixed, we're receiving a higher rate than fair. Fair is 4.23. So we're going to make money. If we click on this gray box, it switches the rate to be the fair rate. So let's change this back to 4.27. We're going to make some money, trade. You can see here it shows up in our swaps. This is our balance sheet, basically all the positions on our spreadsheet. What's the present value? When we run risk, this is what calculates. Again, clear all, gets rid of everything. Import rates. Um, <clears throat> import rates brings a pop up here. There is a way to, and it's again in the problem set, we can create files which contain all the rates. If I click on this download, um, if I choose one of them, I've got some of them here, for example. Here we go. Here's some yield curve data that I've already generated. This yield curve data. <laughs> Can be used i click import rates it will update the value date and all the market data which means that if i want to change things in the background if a problem says use this information then it's easy to do so you download it from the problem you import it here and away you go um what was the last trade that we didn't do we didn't do we've done fra so for futures if i trade five if i go long five of the junes I can change this trade price if I want to, to something else, but I'll leave it here. This is the current price of this futures contract trade. If we go to our futures page, you can see I've got five at 94, 85, 50. If I run risk, I'm long five. If I, um, if rates go up, I lose money, $25 for basis point. So I lose $125. Clear that out, run the risk. It's a good check to make sure everything's empty. Clear all, run risk, everything's fine. Hope that's a useful introduction to the spreadsheet. See you in another video.